All right guys, so you've probably heard the scare that xylitol, the dental field's beloved sugar alcohol that helps to prevent cavities, can actually contribute to cardiovascular issues in the long run. I'm here to talk about where this information is coming from, what the studies actually say, and what it actually means for you and me. Let's talk about it. So this is the study that I think the freakout is coming from. It was posted June 2024. I'll link it in the description below, but it's titled Xylitol May Affect Cardiovascular Health. So right away, it talks about xylitol being used as an artificial sweetener added to foods. This to me immediately is like, ah, okay, not as concerned because the way we recommend xylitol as dental professionals is to use it in your toothpaste and use it in gum and mints in quantities much smaller than what they would put into food to sweeten it. So the recommended dose is six to 10 grams a day to see benefits for cavity prevention, which is a lot less than what they would put as a sugar alternative into food. But let's read on. So interestingly, the study actually showed that small amounts of xylitol occur naturally in our food and even in our own bodies. I found this interesting, I didn't know this, so you learn something new every day. Xylitol actually occurs naturally in our bodies. Again, it's when it's added artificially into food in larger quantities, that's when it starts to become an issue. Now the other thing, and I almost missed this, but I also watched a, a video that a biochemist slash PhD in nutritional sciences did. His name is Dr. Lane Norton, but he actually dived into this study as well well and he made a very key point they didn't actually measure the people's xylitol intake when they were looking at xylitol blood levels versus cardiovascular risk but not necessarily which one causes which or where this xylitol is actually coming from which i think is a huge distinction that needs to be made so bottom line these two things existed together but they didn't determine whether one actually caused the other in a separate piece of the study, they had 10 healthy people drink a xylitol sweetened drink and then observed how they reacted. And what they noticed was the xylitol drink actually spiked their xylitol levels in their blood, which is to be expected, and it increased their blood clotting signals while the xylitol was in their system. Because xylitol leaves our system very quickly, everything came back down to normal. So based on these two separate pieces of information, they concluded that, and I quote, these results suggest that xylitol could have long-term cardiovascular health risks. But all of that doesn't sound as sexy and as shocking as xylitol can cause heart attacks. Bam, let the fear mongering begin, right? So all of this to say, you're still fine to use xylitol in your gum and your mints, six to 10 grams a day. I still use it, I'm not concerned. Number two, don't overconsume sugar alcohols or even regular sugar for that matter, because any type of sugar or sugar alcohol can affect your health. I mean, we're freaking out about xylitol here. Let's talk about how much sugar we are over consuming on a daily basis and how it's affecting our health, right? And then number three, be careful what you believe, be careful how you read the studies, how you interpret them before you jump into conclusions. All right guys, check out some helpful links down below, including a link to my free smile reset guide, a link to book a call with me if you want some one-on-one -on -one coaching, as well as a link to this study that I've been referencing in this video. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos like this. As always, take care.